Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is right around the 12th that we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon will be happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what it is that your heart is truly wanting and being honest with yourself about it. It has to do with children you want or children that you have or just you feeling like a big kid. And it has to do with creativity and how it is that you feel creatively fulfilled. Now this full moon is one that is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto in your sign. That Pluto is giving it a lot of power. You are giving it a lot of power as you tap into the power of your heart and get clear on what it is you want. But it is also bringing a lot of stability into your life as well. If there ever was a time when based on your own focus, based on your own work, you could have things go in a way that feels very much in alignment with your desires, this really would be it. You will absolutely have a certain Midas touch with you right around the middle of the month. We've got a harmonious connection with Neptune at this time to this full moon as well, which does suggest a sense of you feeling especially blessed. Now, I would also add, though, Mercury retrograde is right across the sky with precision from this full moon as well. And that is where things get a little bit interesting because Mercury retrograde is taking place in a part of the sky for you throughout this month that has to do with friendships. It has to do with groups that you belong to. And so it can be at this time that you are reconnecting with people that maybe you lost touch with. There may be opportunities as well to heal certain rifts between you and friendships as well. I would also add with this part of the sky, this can have to do with group endeavors, professionally speaking as well. And you may be asked at this time to participate in a group endeavor, find yourself having to uh, go back and reconnect with people for professional purposes. Now, regardless, that's the Mercury retrograde. But I would just say here, with such a focus on you and self and your own power and your own ability to make amazing things happen, either it is going to be as part of some dynamic within a group or in service of a group or in spite of, okay? So it could feel a little bit like you're getting one message from other people, friends, but you are focused on something else in a different direction. It could be that you are feeling that there are people who are wanting to, uh, whether it is aligned with you or be part of what you're doing, and it may be coming from a place that isn't necessarily about genuine friendship, but rather what it is that they see you doing, and that's when you have to trust in the power of yourself and your intuition. But this can also be one of those times where smartly played, it can be beneficial to tap into those alliances that you have and the people that you know. And so it is going to be up to you to navigate this time with a certain finesse, and you absolutely will. That is that Pluto and Saturn in your sign in a trine, one of the most supremely harmonious alignments with this full moon. It is this full moon that is happening in a part of the sky that is also about luck as well. And so your luck factor will be very high at this time. But for all that, it is the area of friendship that you may have to check in with yourself a little bit and navigate with some care. But remember, it is you with the Midas touch. And so where it is that the connections are genuine, it'll be more than uh, a joy for you to bring people along. But where it is that it is not genuine, this is where it's gonna start to show itself a little bit more to you. As I said, luck is covered here as well, but Saturn is speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon, which says the luck will come about based on what you have done before. It's a full moon as well. It's more about things becoming more clear or coming to fruition based on what was began before, perhaps six months ago. It is now that it starts to feel like things are coming much more full circle, based on the effort you have already put in 
and the focus that you demonstrate now and the developments now can set you up really nicely for a long time to come. So again, it could be a matter near and dear to your heart and what you really want could be related to a creative project or endeavor uh, on your part. If it is children that you have or children that you want, there can be some really good news on that front for you at this time. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 26th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is happening in the sign just before yours and this is a part of the sky that is decidedly quiet. It's about what is happening behind the scenes, sometimes you're not even aware of, and it also has to do with karma as well. This new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. There is a lot of very healing energy at this time and Chiron right now is continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with matters of home and your past as well. So it is as if whether it's your ancestors working on your behalf, uh, whether it is family members, or whether it is a sense of where you come from, all of this is fortifying a certain spiritual strength and increasing opportunities in your life based on the good energy that is coming forward. But also when I think of just like healing, right? And the, the healer here speaking in supreme harmony with this new moon, uh, this can be a time when you feel like you have let go, released or, or put behind you a matter that needed healing. Uh, whether that is spiritual, whether that is physical, this can be one of those times when you feel as if you are so grateful because a certain chapter, perhaps having to do with your health or perhaps having to do with another matter is finally behind you. Think about all those times when a chapter was over or something ended and you were really, really glad it did. It was a stroke of great fortune that a particular matter came to a close. That's the kind of energy that you have at this time. And the fortune isn't just because of the beautiful alignment between Chiron and this new moon, but also because of the fact that two days before the new moon, we are going to have a very fortunate alignment between Jupiter and Venus. These two planets will meet in the sky when they do meet in the sky. It is on the one hand considered the most romantic day of the year, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But this is also, I feel, you know, given that this is the last full month of Jupiter moving through this part of the sky before he moves into your sign, I feel like this is an incredibly fortunate turn of events. This is a sense of you having a deeper appreciation and a deeper understanding of how it is that Jupiter has been wanting to bless your life and how now you can ensure that it really does take root and change you in positive ways for a long time to come. It is that new moon that is going to make it much more obvious, much more evident, but that beautiful meeting of Venus and Jupiter will set the stage towards karmic cleansing and a true sense of preparing the ground for the new and the next that is literally right around the corner. In December, Jupiter is gonna enter your sign you get one year out of every 12 of Jupiter in your sign and your moment is right around the corner. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. And of course, the Jupiter special horoscopes will be coming out at some point this month as well. So be on the lookout for that on YouTube as well. Where it comes to matters of love this month, it is a lot about that full moon mid month because that full moon is speaking to a part of the sky that speaks to what it is that we're wanting with romance and flirtation. It speaks to connecting with new people and the feeling of life that romance can provide. But of course, late in the month when Venus meets Jupiter in a very quiet part of the sky for you, well, love becomes a lot more personal at that time as well. If you're open to meeting someone new, well, I do think that the full moon will bring at least one very notable flirtation in that regard. And chances are it will be feeling as if you are able to connect with people that much more easily, especially where it is that you're doing something fun. Because of Pluto, there's that much more intensity and passion at that time with someone new that you may connect with. If you are just getting to know someone, that full moon is lovely for dating. You will absolutely enjoy it so much. And chances are be feeling an increased sense of intimacy at that time as well. 
However, once we get late into the month, that meeting of Venus and Jupiter could really go either way, meaning that either love will become a lot more quiet, a lot more personal between the two of you, or you may come to realize that this may not be the person for you. And if that's the case, then part of that cleansing may be you realizing that you're going in a different direction. For those of you who are in an established bond, I love that energy in the middle of the month around the full moon. It is that sense of love and bonding and feeling like you're very much with the right person, feeling very swept up in an emotional moment possibly, where you feel that much more closely connected. But it is late in the month that it is very possible you may be working on something with your partner that you're not necessarily ready to share with just about everybody and that really is okay. It's important to stay connected to yourself, to trust yourself as well, because whatever it is that the two of you are working on, are planning, are thinking about, in fact, the time to share what it is that is happening between the two of you is literally right around the corner with December filled with all kinds of wonderful new beginnings for you. What I love about this month for you, well, there is so much here, but I am gonna say that full moon in the middle of the month because it is fun, it is one of joy. Yes, there is some serious energy there because of Saturn. You are focused at this time as well, thanks to Pluto. But there's also a sense of you knowing what it is that you really want and feeling yourself in absolute alignment getting you there. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.